Question number two. When visiting the dentist, the probability of waiting less than five minutes is 0 0.16. And uh, the probability of waiting less than 10 minutes is 0 0.88. Find the probability of waiting between five and 10 minutes for the first part. For the second part, a random of 180 people who visit the dentist is chosen. Use a suitable approximation to find the probability that more than 115 of these people wait between 5 and 10 minutes. Okay, so let's do it. Now, for the first part, uh, the probability of waiting um, less than 5 minutes, x being less than 5 minutes, is going to be 0 0.16. The probability of waiting less than 10 minutes is 0 0.88. We need to find the probability between 5 and 10. So let us draw a line like this and let's put 10 here. Less than 10, the probability is 0 0.88 and less than 5, the probability is 0. I mean less than 5 is 0 0.16. So if I want to find from here to here between these, I must take less than 10 minus less than 5. Therefore the probability of x, I mean uh, being between zero, I mean between 10 and 5, is then going to be 0 0.88 minus 0 0.16, which is basically 0 0.72. Okay, for the second part, there is a sample size here: 180 people visiting the dentist. We need to use a suitable approximation. Therefore, we're going to be uh, calculating the probability as required in the question. Uh, that more than 115 people wait between 5 and 10 minutes. Between 5 and 10 minutes, this is the probability. More than 115 people. First of all, if we have to use a suitable approximation, we need to find NP. What is NP? 180 times our probability of success, 0 0.72. Then NQ. 180 times 1 minus 0 0.72 is 0 0.28. So, if we do that, we're going to end up with 129.6, 50.4. Now, since NP and NQ are both greater than 5, therefore we approximate to a normal distribution. So we need to find the variance, NPQ as well, 180 times 0 0.72 times 0 0.28 and that's going to give us um, 129 point uh, no, it's a, hang on a second Let me just try again I'm taking this one <laughs> so 180 times 0 0.72 times 0 0.28 36.288 sorry about that 36.288 now we need to do uh, the probability of x being greater than 115. Therefore, what is this going to be? Because we are approximating to a normal distribution, we need to do the continuity correction. So after continuity correction, we are going to say that the probability of x being greater than 115 is exactly the same as probability of z being greater than 115.5 minus, because x is following now a normal distribution and uh, we have NP which is 129.6 our variance is 36.288 and therefore this minus 129 mean divided by the uh, standard deviation which is the square root of 36.288 and if you do that you're going to get all right um, P of Z being greater than minus 2.341 2.341 okay so what is this being greater than minus so if you look at your bell curve like this if you have minus A here probability of Z being great Z being greater than minus A we are looking at this region here if we have to reflect it on the other side it's going to come straight here reflection comes through here so therefore we're going to say then it is going to be the xi of this minus a is going to become a so xi of then 2.341 and if you look 
that up from your table, you're going to end up with 0 0.990. I hope you're fine with this. Okay, look at this. Uh, let me just be a bit clearer in case my explanation is not too clear. So this is minus E, and you're looking at the greater here. So it's going to be like that. If you reflect it on the other side, it becomes like this here. And of course, we're going to have to look on the left hand side. Okay, so here we are for this question taken from June 2016, Advanced Level Maths HSCS1.